This video is intended to assist Year 9 students in creating their laser cut bowl in Adobe Illustrator. So we can see here you have your design brief. Uh, you can pause in this section if needed. And I'm just going to skip over to Adobe Illustrator now. Now the first thing you need to do is to draw your rectangle. Okay, Just make sure that the fill is set to no fill and we can just click on the screen or draw the rectangle and then go to transform and put in your measurements here now it needs to be 300 by 200 okay our bowl needs to fit we're going to be drawing two patterns one here and one here and our bowl needs to fit inside this box those two patterns need to fit inside this box now next up um, if you saw that your units were not um, were not millimeters and they were in points, you can change them here in preferences, units, and just make sure everything is in millimeters down here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a very simple shape. I'll just go with the star tool, draw my star, roughly in position. I'll go to my direct selection tool. Drag it down, the softer corners will be easier to offset. And I'm okay with that for now. So what I'll do, bring it into position approximately. And I'm gonna transform that shape. If you can't find transform, you will find it up here. Let's see, just in window and transform. And the box should pop up. So I click on the shape. It is gonna be 50. By 50. I'm going to copy this paste, excuse me, I'm going to copy and paste this over to the other side. I'm going to change the color to red, bright red so it stands out. And what I want to do next is I need to change the size of this. Actually, let's see. Looks like that was slightly undersized. Not that it's overly important, but just for the sake of keeping everything right, I'm just gonna change this first. Okay, now we're good to go. So copy, paste, change the color to red. That's fine. brighter red there we go that's, that's good now this guy needs to be three millimeters okay size issues there again but it won't make any difference uh, it needs to be 53 by 53 so I'm just tabbing down to the other box sometimes you have to triple click in that box uh, to highlight everything and just change the size now that's very very important for the layering uh, the fact that it's three millimeters bigger than the other shape over here now your shape could be anything and uh, the more creative the better uh, let's see so we're going to select both of those two shapes or both of the shapes should I say and we will go object path offset your offset needs to be six millimeters perfect we're just going to repeat that process until we use up all the space inside of the box here. We say return. I think what I'll do is I'll just move this slightly out of the way for now. Should be able to get one more layer. We can move this over just a little bit. Good, and I'll select the two outside shapes, hold down shift and object path offset. Good. 
that's about as close to the edge as we want to get. It's a good idea to, um, to make things easier for other students, keep your work as close together as possible, uh, because other, we'll, we'll have about four students per sheet of plywood, and this is just a quarter sheet of plywood. Um, for, well, for the side we have cut on the laser uh, here at college. And basically we have a laser cut bowl ready to go. So I need to export this shape as we have done in previous projects. So I'll just show you again, which is file, export, export as. Very important down here that we select DXF. If it's not DXF, it won't work. You need your first and second name in here. And just bold will be fine. Now at this stage, the other option up here is you, you need to have it set to version 2000, just so it'll interact well with the software for our laser cutter. Okay. And we are done. Um, in relation to your own designs, just make sure you uh, experiment around with different shapes. I've chosen a very basic shape here, but I've had success with uh, lots of different shapes. We can see over here, I've got um, a bit of a leaf going on here. This looks a little bit like a lake, love heart, some geometric shapes. And um, we also have something that looks a little bit like a building. But for example, these two shapes here would not be relevant. We're looking for more... Um, organic shapes, shapes that have been inspired by nature. Okay, so thanks for listening and thanks for watching and happy designing.